Wanna know something? This is the fourth horse game I've reviewed just on this system. Like, I'm sure I've probably done a lot more than that for all the systems. That's what I've done with my life. So f*** you, Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's my Western Horse 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. How are there this many horse games? Listen, I like to think we know each other pretty well by now. You guys know. I, I talk like Michael Sarah. I look like a Slayer roadie. I have this weird thing for Emma Watson. I, I, I also have great hair. And I also tell it like it is. This, this is a no-spin zone. So I'm going to tell you, this is the worst damn horse game I've played on the 3DS. And I know about these things because I played a freaking ton of them. <laughs> So this is another one that, like Horses 3D, it doesn't give you the option of playing as a boy. It just assumes no guy would ever play this game. We obviously haven't met me, my Western Horse 3D. Although, in that review, a viewer pointed out that, oh, well don't most games assume you're a guy? D blew my freaking mind! Nonetheless, you are Carla. Although I'd, I'd rather be Karai. You want to be a big star in equestrian stuff, but in order to do that, you have to go train with your aunt. And listen, your aunt, she's the mayor and town council of Bitchville. Population her. Population old joke, but population I don't care, this lady's as cheerful as hemorrhoid ointment. So basically, you train on your aunt's farm, and you convince her that you can earn a horse's trust. You do that by doing the same four mini games over and over. I hope you like picking a horse's feet pixel by freaking pixel, because you only get to do it every freaking day. And is, it, is that what a horse's foot really looks like? It's like freaking alien versus predator. That's disgusting. The first like three full days on the farm are just spent doing the same mini games, and then at the end of the day, you earn points, and after a few days, you finally have enough points to actually do something. So, you go see your aunt, but she's like, No, no, you, you can't do stuff unless you answer this weird question about horses. And if you get it wrong, oh, it's cool. You just, you just lose a bunch of the points you spent all that time earning. And then it's back to those same mini-games until you can answer the question correctly. Which is to say, until you fire up the Google machine. Search for how many beats are in a gallop. I still got it wrong. Fortunately, once your aunt stops being such a horse's face, you get to do stuff. You can ride on the trails, you can enter contests. That's fun stuff, but here's the thing. No matter what you're doing, it's always the same thing. The gameplay is always the same button inputs and tilt controls. Tilt the system to get the thing in the thing. Freaking tilt controls. I think I'd rather pick the horseshoe. You know, at first, the structure of the game really bothered me, and then I figured out, oh, it's like that because there's not much to it, and they need to stretch it out. And there are only three tournaments, so there's like three trails to ride on, and it all basically plays the same. I mean, I, I mean, you, you can put on pink boots, which is kind of sweet. Well, your aunt will probably have something to say about it. She needs a pink boot! Up the ass! So does my Western Horse 3D. In the world of horse games, this one's destined for the glue factory.